वेलकम बैक एवर वन टू अनदर वीडियो नाउ इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई डेड अ क्विक लुक एट दी विंडोज टेन क्लाउड लीगड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड आई डेड से दैट ऑन द यू आई साइड ऑफ थिंग्स इट डजेंट लुक मच डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अ रेगुलर विंडोज टेन डेस्कटॉप बट इट सीम्स दैट देर इज अ वेरी वेरी बिग चेंज इन साइड द कोर ओ एस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट एंड हाउ इट्स एक्चुअली disappointing to see that change and also how it hints at a few other developments that might come with the windows 10 cloud so the thing started out i wanted to do some experiments on the windows 10 cloud platform so i started up my vmware and i was about to install uh the tools and the uh, the driver tools for vmware and it turns out that they aren't compatible so when i uh, run the setup.exe after a few seconds it gives me that it isn't designed to run on this version of windows and of course this isn't available on a windows store or anything like that so i just thought maybe this is a leaked os and it's not really compatible with a few things blah 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 and went on to download a few bit more pieces of software including vlc uh, and other stuff like that but when i run them i get the same warning again the same thing with chrome now this is a bit different now this warning specifically says that the app that i'm trying to install isn't designed to work with windows cloud now this is the first time in the whole installation process except for the time when i selected to install windows cloud specifically this is the first time that the os has told me that i am running a version of windows cloud now if you remember in my previous video i did go into the settings and i it just said that i was running a version of windows 10 pro and uh, some random build and here it is it just says windows 10 pro uh, inside a preview but here is our first look at that we are actually running something called windows cloud uh and I can go into the store and I don't think uh, Chrome is available but uh apart from that uh, what we can do is we can install apps from the app store so I have already installed VLC from the app store and that runs fine I mean it pops up there's an app and it works Uh, as expected there's nothing different about it and other uh, windows app store apps works fine and the good thing was i didn't had to specifically log in to the windows app store so i wasn't giving away my credentials or anything so i am safe for that way uh so next step was to find out why that is happening and a quick search just revealed that windows 10 cloud does not support win32 application Now for those of you who don't really know what Win32 is it's the framework every windows application uses if it's a exe file it would be running on win32 uh and that is what makes windows so famous because there is a huge huge collection of win32 apps so this is audacity again running on win32 pretty much everything steam games and stuff like that run on win32 so windows has been trying to push uwp or window universal windows platform uh, that it's that is meant to run across all windows 10 devices like xbox uh, iot stuff uh, your uh, pcs and stuff like that everything that runs on a windows 10 machine uh, on a windows 10 operating system and that's what it has been trying to do and that is what is uh basically in effect here so that the applications are blocked because the os doesn't support win32 uh first of all that hints that this windows 10 cloud build would be coming to arm very very soon uh because arm builds of windows 10 i will talk about which ones i'm talking about but arm builds of windows 10 don't support win32 for obvious reasons this thing was similarly done with a uh, continuum uh, windows 10 for the high end lumia devices where the uh, device would essentially dock and become a whole desktop but the difference was that none of the win32 desktop applications would work everything would have be have to be downloaded from the windows store and windows cloud windows 10 cloud is pretty much the same thing it's the same deal you need to have the store w uwp apps can 
I cannot Google and easily find some random UWP app. So it seems that there may be methods of downloading and installing them, but for now they're not as abundantly available uh, as you know your normal Win32 applications. So this was a little bit insight of uh, UWP uh, and Win32 functionality of the Windows 10 Cloud OS. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. And I'll see you all in the next one.